Yo, what's up guys? Before I get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for sticking with me and subbing and watching my videos. And I'm trying to post more consistent. So just thank you guys for dealing with me and the inconsistent schedule. But anyways, let's get right into this video. All right, so there's a bunch of rumors going around with Houston and saying that they're going to blow it up in Houston. And I see a bunch of Bulls fans saying the Bulls should try trading for Chris Paul. He would fit amazing with our young core and develop them and teach him a bunch of stuff. But no. Oh, God, no. That man is making $40 million a year. He is on the decline of his career. He played terrible in the playoffs. There's no way that he, there's no way Houston trades him. His contract is terrible. He's not playing good. He is on the downside of 30. He, he's 34 right now. He's just not a superstar in this league no more. He, I mean, he's a solid point guard, but he's not worth $40 million a year. And I know the Bulls have had point guard troubles, but trust me, Chris Paul is not the answer. And I've also seen some other rumors that said the Chicago Bulls have the six best odds of landing Kemba Walker this summer. And you know, Kemba, he would be amazing with us. He's young, he's a stud, he's a great player, but there's no way. Either he's going to stay with Charlotte and get paid, and even if he does leave, I'm sure he'd want to go to a contending team that can actually win, and the Bulls aren't there yet. And I also saw another rumor that said the Bulls have the fourth best odds at landing D'Lo. And I also just, I, I just can't see that happening. He's going to stay with Brooklyn and get paid. And if he leaves, he'd also go want to go to a winning team, I feel like. I mean, the Nets are already kind of a winning team. They played great this year. They made the playoffs, so I just can't see, it, see him come to the Bulls either. But the one point guard that I can see the Chicago Bulls targeting is Malcolm Brogdon. He's from the Milwaukee Bucks. He's 6'5". He averaged 16 points per game, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists. I'm pretty sure he won Rookie of the Year, too. He's a great player, and I don't think Milwaukee's going to be able to afford him. With Giannis's huge contract coming up, Chris Middleton becoming a free agent, and Brooke Lopez, I just can't see them signing him back. So I see the Bulls targeting him. I mean, I don't really want, want him. Honestly, I just want the Bulls to draft a point guard with the seventh pick, but he wouldn't be a bad option. You know, he's still young. He's a great player. He's a really good shooter. He's a great point guard in this league. Honestly, I think he'd fit great with us, but it just, it's not a big move that excites me, of course. You know, he's a very solid player. He'd probably fit amazing with us, honestly, but at the same time, I say we should just save our money and just draft a point guard with the seventh pick. But yeah, make sure to leave a comment below who you guys want the Chicago Bulls to sign this offseason and who do you guys think our starting point guard will be for next season. Thank you. Have a good one.